by the power of Grayskull. Hello, this is just a quick review for the FIFA 18 demo, which is uh, there to download if you're a PlayStation Plus member. Um, it's basically FIFA 17, but just with added bits on. Um, this is a continuation of the Alex Hunter story, where in the first game, in the f FIFA 17, you come up from like being a kid, you get picked, and then you start like you basically become like a star but on, and the story on this is um that you just get signed for chelsea like you used to play for man united or like you play for, you pick a team basically at the beginning and you play the first season for them and then you get sold to a better team and then you play for them and then fucking um you end up back at your old team and then you get signed to Chelsea and then it ends and then this one you're in Chelsea but you're about to leave Chelsea and um, go to Real Madrid and the story in this is that you go to Real Madrid it doesn't work out so when you come back Chelsea don't want you anymore because they've sold you so you end up fucking um, you end up having to build up your reputation with the crowd again and like start from scratch again so it's the same thing really um what they're doing but there's a few things on it um that are new um there's a new uh i think it's passing or not a new dribbling um polished up um t i think it's uh tackling as well um and they've got real motion capture of the people who were so like people who run because there was some sort of statistic on the last one, FIFA 17. Um, you know, if you were tall, then you could run faster just by default because you were taking bigger leg strides than if you were a smaller person. Um, but they've changed it now. So instead of every two frames or every frame, um, the graphics, they've changed it now to every pixel. So it's literally like the the running is more realistic basically it's it's based on your height and uh, your weight and stuff like that it's not just based on like the animation of running because then if you like I say if you're a tall person you had an advantage but they've sorted that again and plus like um Ronaldo will run like Ronaldo and shit like that so um they've they've picked up on what the fans were talking about um and also the AI I found to just by playing this one game, I had a few matches against my friend as well. But the AI, um, it's like, take, oh, did you see that? How it got stuck? There's still shitty FIFA glitches like that. But uh, the AI is really good now. They've they've turned up the pressure. So like that's the AI there. Like the AI really just attack, attack, attack. They don't, you know, it's not as easy as um you thing in and when you start the match you're three nil down and you're meant to um you're meant to you're meant to come back and win the match you've got to get 10 passes um for alex hunter and you need to um and you need to impress the manager with the 8.5 rating so you know it's i let one in so i had to came back i think it ended four three or five three so um even if they didn't score that first goal i still would have lost like but like i said i mean the ai is really good and you do feel like you're playing against the the professionals you're not just you know it's not just changing the names of the players but you're playing exactly all the time like you i don't know it's hard to explain but if you play a lot of fifa which i would say half of the uk does if you play lots of FIFA, you end up seeing the repetition and the way the game works, and you can sort of kind of understand how it plays, if that makes sense. And then you just, but when you've got a brand new title like this, <clears throat> they've obviously been in and like fucked about and messed about with all the game mechanics. So there's lots of new things that you'll notice while you're playing, like the touching, uh, the handling, the um, the tackles, like I said, the dribbling and that. And the AI, that's the main thing that stood out for me. And this is literally, I had one match like this. This is the match I had. Um, you know I mean? It wasn't even a full match. You only get one half. So it's just, 
you've got to play it for yourself and you'll understand what I'm talking about, especially if you play a lot of FIFA. But I think it's great. I mean, I'm giving it a good review. I think it's it plays really good. I know the PES 18 uh, demos there, but I'm not a PES guy, so I d I'm not really pro evolution, so I'm not bothered. Um, so I'll probably not do a review of that unless I've already done it. Like, I can't even remember. But um, that's a lot improved and they're the sort of catching up. I think FIFA has always been the way... Um, FIFA's always been the best way to play football. Um, Pez is okay, but you've got to be. It's like Xbox or PS4. They're both the same, but you've just got to get whatever one you get used to. That's the one you normally stick to. But like I say, it's free to download this, so you may as well go and try it out. Um, and I think it's great. So that's it, really. See you later.